Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to show y'all how I'm going to wrap this dragon eye in a very kind of straightforward and simplistic way. Um, there will be a list of materials as well as links as where to buy them down in the video description below. Um, so let's get started. So here I have a pair of bent nose pliers a fine point and kind of just regular pair of round nose pliers, some flush cutters, and some nylon jaw pliers. I'm using 18 gauge aluminum wire. And I have an eye that I painted that is 40 by 30 millimeters. There's links for all of these down in the video description below if you'd like to buy your own. And here I have an assortment of different Swarovski and Crystal, um, like just bicones mostly. Um, some of them are different shapes, but for the most part they're bicone. And you can use whatever color and size and everything that you like. Um, these are just some of what I'm using. And I would like to pick out some that look good with my eye. I would really like to, you know, accent some of these deeper bronzy tones in it. So I'm going to pick out two of these. Um, how would those look with it? No, not as much. Ooh, the dark, the dark green might look really nice though. Though I think I'm going to go with a slightly larger. The bronze that I chose were a 6mm, so these are an 8mm bicone. And I think that's enough to get me started. So the way that I'm going to be wrapping here is very similar to one of my older tutorials. I'm going to pull off probably about a yard um, or a meter of, um, of wire. I'm going to go ahead and snip it. And you can straighten it with your fingers or with your nylon jaw pliers. This is a pretty soft aluminum, so I'm just doing it with my hand. And I'm going to come in with my bent nose pliers. And not quite at fully the halfway mark, but I'm just going to round about in the middle, do a Z, kind of like that, where the sun's coming off this way and this end's coming off this way. And I want it to be just a little bit shorter than the width of my eye. This eye, I painted, um, if I remember to, I'll either put something popping up on the screen or something down in the video comments below showing how I like to paint my dragon eyes. But I've painted it and it's cured for about three or four days. That way, not even a fingernail will leave an imprint on the enamel on the back. Um, you could also cover it with a layer of Mod Podge or epoxy, but if you let it cure for a few days it should be fine. So I'm bracing it against the back with my finger, bracing the wire between the cabochon and my finger, and wrapping it around until it sits like that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, just wrapping it around so it looks like that. Now I'm going to remove my cabochon. I'm going to use my fingernail or pliers, whichever you prefer, to do a little bend, just to encourage the wire to wrap at that point, in which case I wrap it around this main wire. Just one little wrap there. So do the same thing on the other side. Just putting a little bit of a bend in it with my fingernail, bracing everything together as best I can. I'm gonna check and make sure. Yeah, my framing's okay. And just kind of wrap around. I want to try to get this to happen without making this much smaller. And so now we're going to come back in, reinsert our dragon eye. So that sits like that. And now coming in on the back side, I'm going to, with the, the tip, the nose of my pliers open quite wide do a little bit of a zigzag and this tightens it down pretty nicely 
you can position the wires. I mean, this is a seriously soft wire, so. And I'm going to come in here on the front now, too. And um, with one draw of the plier on the, towards the tip, and then the next one inward. And you can do this whichever way you like. But I'm just going to bend. So sorry for traffic noises. I live pretty urbanly. And um, apparently it's impressive to have a loud motor nowadays. So <laughs> I, I am unimpressed. But that's just me. So I'm going to come through and kind of do this little beveling um, action on each end. And I just like the way that that's shaped, really. You can do whatever you want. So now on this side, I'm going to have this guy come sweep out in this direction. And I'm going to have this wire sweep out in the other direction. So you can see that's how it's looking in the front. And I'm actually going to slide on one of my 8mm bicones so that it just sits right there. Bracing it with the back, uh, from the back with my finger. I'm just going to twist around a bit. So it sits like that. I'm going to do the same thing here to the other side. And I'm twisting kind of back around the way it came, if that makes sense. But again, this is all just very stylized. I want to encourage you to do it however makes you happy. So this one's coming around. And I'm going to slide a six millimeter bicone. Now it's having a hard time traveling down the length of my wire, so this is an excellent opportunity to use my nylon jaws to kind of straighten some of those kinks out. Because that makes it a lot easier to slide your bicone on, and you don't want to risk your bead breaking. So again, I'm going to put just a little bend in the wire to encourage it to curve where I want it to. And I'm going to wrap around my bicone. I'm just going to thread back through that little loop there too. Almost like tying a knot in my wire. Using my thumbnail and my fingernail to kind of work a curve into it. And I think I'm just going to separate this wire from the front just a little bit to feed, just make a little bit of space to be able to feed this wire through. And then I'm bracing it with my fingers, oh goodness, there it goes. So you can see how it's threaded through right there now. And we can do just a cute little curly cue. So this is definitely a very um, spirally dragon eye. So I'm going to do another 6 millimeter bead. Again, doing a little bend in the wire, twisting it around, looping it back through itself. I enjoy some elements of symmetry in my work, but you can do whatever you want. Like, don't feel like you have to do something just because I did a certain way. And so again, just opening that up some, sliding my wire through. Because I feel like these wire, this wire here and here helps stabilize this frame that we've made on the eye and just helps kind of keep it from um, popping out in the future. That bird is just singing for all it's worth. <laughs> okay, and so now from here, 
I want to start giving a little bit more of the impression of a lid. So we can just bring our wire right across. Um, I think I am going to pick out one of the dark green six millimeters. I'm going to slide that right there onto my bead and twist around. And I'm going to thread this wire through that loop that we just made. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't catch up on anything. And I'm going to give it just a little twist. Straighten and curve it and work harden it a bit with my fingernails. And bring this around and I don't know, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I'm going to tuck this around through the back here and fold that up. So you see it traveled back across. I'm going to kind of push that up so they meet each other. And with this little bit here, I'm going to make just a nice little spiral. And now from here, I'm going to thread this one up in between. And I think what I'm going to do, maybe, I'll be right back. Yay. I'd gotten some very cute little glass seed beads in one of my more recent um, loot hauls that I haven't had a chance to use yet. So, without making, oh, sorry again for all the urban noises. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kind of squeeze the cap off of that. Get some of the beads out. And it, these are a size, what size are you? A size 6 seed bead. And you want to make sure that they'll be able to fit on your wire. And I'm just going to string a bunch of them on. Beep, come back. There we go. These are a nice kind of Aurora Borealis finish, um, dark green. And I really like the repetition of this size and shape of seed bead, because they're slightly irregular. Um, which to me this is the perfect use of some of the, like, the... Well, I guess it is coming up on the 4th of July, and <laughs> it's fireworks time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but the way that they're kind of stacked next to each other, I feel like gives a nice impression of, um, like scales, like reptilian, like, so it gives, again, I think a little bit more of an impression of like an eyelid. So I'm keeping that nice and snug as I come across. I'm going to do at least a few more. And I think I can fit on just a couple more. Because I don't want any movement of the uh, beads on the wire to separate out from each other. <sighs> okay, so now I'm just kind of squeezing this wire through behind some of the other ones. I'm going to use my bent nose pliers to grab the tip and pull it through, nice and snug, but trying to not distort anything. I'm going to shift this little spiral around so it sits more forward. Oh mercy. Seriously, neighbors? <laughs> So when I have this one coming very at a sharp angle to kind of try to maintain that tension. So it almost looks like he's scowling a little bit. So I'm going to round out the curve of that just a little bit so he doesn't look like such a mad dragon eye. <laughs> and now I'm going to do a little bit of a spiral. 
again coming in. Just a little kind of organic swirl. Using my bent nose pliers to flatten it some, tighten it some. There we go. Now also, there's a little bit more movement still than what I would have liked. So I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers, just gripping it and putting some kink into the wire. And that holds it a little bit more into place, I think. Excellent. It worked out very well. So that's how it's starting to come out. Um, and so now we can attach and make a bail, which I think what I'm going to do for this one to keep it just nice and simple is just attach a jump ring, which there's links for where I sell the jump rings that I coil and cut down again in the video description below. So I'll be right back. Let me grab one. So this one is an aluminum 18 gauge 1 4th inch jump ring and normally I would not recommend using round nose pliers so here I've got some uh, just chain nose or needle nose whatever rings you prefer for doing chain mail flat nose would actually work pretty well too and I like to hang the bail in a spot that keeps in line with the pupil so actually right here seems like a really secure spot because we've bound it down with the wire I'm going to close this ring just as best as I can and so that's a way one of infinite ways to um, wrap a dragon eye. I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. This is how it came out. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's simplistic, like there's no, in the sense that there's no wire weaving, but you could totally incorporate some different wire weaving. Um, you could make this however simplistic or ornate as you would like. If you guys uh, make something inspired by this tutorial, I'd love to see it. If you want to share it to my Facebook page, I'm Back to Earth Creations on Facebook. Also on Instagram, it's like back underscore to underscore earth underscore creations it's I didn't realize that the spaces um were going to be underscores whenever I was making the name uh and I don't know how to change it so <laughs> but yeah you guys can share your creations with me on there um if you have any questions comments or ideas please leave them down below please like share and subscribe uh if you haven't already and if you have any uh well no, I already said that, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoy my free tutorials and would like to support the creation of more of them in the future, please check me out on Patreon. Um, I do periodic giveaways, like bi-monthly fairy house giveaways. Sometimes I do art giveaways. Um, and then if you pledge $10 or more a month, uh, then you're still entered into all of our giveaways, but you get loot sent to you every month. So you might be able to get the stuff to make your very own dragon eye. Um, like this so yeah that's what if you pledge one dollar sorry it puts your name into the hat for all of our giveaways across the board if you pledge five dollars it puts your name in the hat five times but also like you get behind the scenes um, pictures and all kinds of stuff like that so thanks you guys so much I again I do hope that this was helpful to you I've had a lot of different requests and I think I'm gonna do a bunch more videos just showing a lot of different variations of just because this didn't have a whole lot of planning behind it like I start the eye with that frame and then just let it go so um, hopefully we'll get more of these in the future let me know what you guys think and have a wonderful day happy crafting bye <laughs>